This is the NASA Space Shuttle on a routine test mission. The shuttle is scheduled for its initial manned flight in March. Forty flights a year are planned for the mid-1980s with as many as seven astronauts on each flight. In addition to the two Tidewater pilots chosen to participate in the program, 17 others have been named to become astronauts. The 19 persons will report to Houston in July for a year of training and evaluation. They were selected by NASA out of more than 3,400 applicants. Eight will be trained as shuttle pilots and 11 as mission specialists, those who conduct experiments and service satellites. That's what Marine Major Robert Spring aid to the commanding general of the Fleet Marine Force Atlantic in Norfolk will do. It'll be more challenging than things I've done in the past. Uh, it'll be flying at its very peak, I guess, uh, particularly just the training for it, and then, of course, uh, eventually the actual shuttle missions will be a real thrill. It's a whole new dimension involving flying because space flight, orbital flight, is, is quite different than uh, flying as we know it here within the atmosphere. So it's, it will be. It'll be a thrill and a challenge. Navy Lieutenant Commander Michael Smith is a pilot with the Medium Attack Squadron 75 at Oceana Naval Air Station in Virginia Beach and will have the same job in the Space Shuttle program. Everything that I've done in the Navy uh, has been oriented towards taking advantage of this chance if it was ever offered. And uh, I'm glad to say that uh, everything has come together and, and I'll be uh, able to put all the training that I have had to use hopefully in the space program. And how does Mrs. Smith feel about her husband becoming an astronaut? Uh, no, I'm not scared. I, I'm extremely excited. I'm pleased for the opportunity that Mike has been given. The Smiths and the Springers are now preparing for the move to Houston, Texas this summer. Ava Hurdle, Area 10 Eyewitness News.